Well, we're working on some Sarvan wheels. You remember back we had this broken boxing? And if you remember, I found one that was pretty close. It's a little small, but I can open it up. Well, the boxing is the last thing that goes in the wheel when you're building a new wheel. That is what actually trues the wheel up or aligns the wheel so that it runs true. So I'm going to set this tire and kind of get things finished up on this wheel. Then we're going to take that boxing and take it to the lathe and make it fit. Well, these are the original fellow plates that came with this set of wheels, but one of them had a lot of rust and when I sandblasted it is full of holes. So I saved some old ones. Let's see if I can find something that will either fit it or I'll make it work.
Well, as we step back in our memory, remember this is the boxing that was broken in the old hub core. We turned a new core and then I found another boxing that was close. So this is what we're going to fix. Now I don't claim to be a machinist by any stretch, but usually I can kind of fumble and stumble my way through and get what I need in the end, and that's kind of really all that counts. And these boxings really aren't a high precision machine process anyway, so instead of using calipers, I really don't care what the exact size is, I'm just comparing one boxing and making the second one to match it. Now the big bell on this box thing is what goes over the collar on the axle, but it also has a step down for a shoulder on the spindle. So when I calculated my taper, I actually used this shoulder that's recessed inside this boxing. When I calculated it out via the internet, it came out at 0.94 degrees. Well, I just did a shy one and I think we can get her.
Now the old boxing that I'm trying to adapt to fit the old one actually had kind of a hairline crack down the side so you can see I put a little brass in there to kind of stabilize it. Now that I've got it to where I think it'll work, we need to put these boxings into the new cores that we built. This is the hub borer that I use. It's a turret lathe that I converted, kind of changed over. Now the first step is to get the hub centered to the boring bar. Then clamping the tire up against this four jaw chuck will make sure that the tire will run true also to the boring bar. And the turret head that holds the boring bar is on a pedestal that will swing either way right or left and this is where I'm going to get my angle for the tapered boxing. boring first from the outside or the nut end and I'm going to bore a straight hole for the small diameter of the boxing. Now one thing to remember is that the boxing is bored true with the tire not with the hub. So you see a little deviation in round on the hub flange, but the center hole that accommodates the boxing is lined up with the tire, not the hub flange. Now I'm going to bore the recess that will accommodate the nut.
So now that I have a straight bore for the small end of the boxing and the recess for the nut, I'm going to take this wheel and turn it around, realign it, and then make sure that it is true to the center hole that's already bored. This is where I'm checking that my center hole is lined up where it was originally from the other end. And now with my bit set in the boring bar, I can take my pedestal, move it to the side, and begin the taper for the boxing. When the boxing is pushed in, the goal is to have the end of the boxing stick out past the wood about an eighth of an inch. This will accommodate the leather washer that's inside the nut. And here's the recess ring for the backside. So once again, thanks for watching.